Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that shows you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. So, guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. So, um, Draft Champions is, is in season right now. Uh, qualifiers for the next Madden tournament is going to be Draft Champions. And if you guys um, want to draft a team better, you have to pretty much know what rounds are going to be guaranteed to you and what rounds aren't and how to build your team successfully. Now, uh, what I want to do is show you basically some research I've done. This is similar to what I did last year. And basically with Draft Champions, um, you're going to have a bunch of guaranteed rounds and then you're going to have some pulp relaunch rounds uh, and some rounds where you have to start making some decisions. So. What I want to do is I want to draft the perfect 30, 34 defense. So I want to draft myself basically um, four uh, linebackers uh, or edge rushers, uh, basically three defensive linemen, and then, uh, and then a secondary to fill everything out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill out the rest of my team uh, with, uh, with positional players. Now, the most important thing is not wasting your... Um, your defense or your offense on positional players that can't get on the field. So you don't want to over you don't want to overdraft players. Now because I am going with 34 defense, I want to go ahead and have a perfect 34. I might get an additional safety or additional defensive back that might fall to me, and if that's the case, that's fine. On offense, I do not want to draft more than more than um, basically three wide receivers or two tight ends or basically two running backs. I, I basically, when you play offense, a lot of times you're gonna basically have the same position players out there again. So you wanna try to avoid those sucker rounds where you're gonna pick a, 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 um, a player that, like in a skill position such as wide receiver, they're gonna throw a lot of wide receivers at you when you don't need them, because you're gonna get them later on, and I'll point that out to you. So let's go ahead and jump into player friend and if you want to get familiarized with the draft sequences, what I'd recommend is go through Play a Friend, reset the draft every time so you can get used to actually drafting a team. Now, another thing that changed with Draft Champions this year is they add, added a, cho a coach round in the first first round and then a coach round in the second round. Uh, it really doesn't make much of a difference uh, what playbook you take in the first round you're gonna get a, you're gonna get another playbook in the second round so I'm gonna go ahead and take uh, Sean McDermott is our is our playbook but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to build the team around a 34 so start off with a, with a quarterback this is good this is get this out of the way my personal preference is to take a quarterback with the strongest arm and um, because these these guys are pretty much equal we're gonna go with the Andrew Luck card here uh, as our first position now, this is all defensive back round. You can see we're going to have four of these where they're all defensive backs. We want to take the best position, our player. Uh, this guy doesn't have the greatest hits stick. He, these are all pretty much butt slow. We're going to take Lattimore um, just because I'd rather have a guy that's a little bit faster. I can put him in the secondary. All right, so here's the situation. I'm running a 34 defense. Technically, I, I want to get myself... Um, offense alignments in this type of situation and they have better cards more attractive cards but because i really want to have a good defense going into this draft and having a nice rounded up defense i'm going to go ahead and take the defensive player in this round because if you take a look at the very bottom you have basically one defensive lineman or linebacker and two offensive linemen this is kind of one of those one of those sucker bets that you probably go ahead and grab one of those offensive linemen because they're going to give you a, a pretty damn good offensive lineman but because i want to focus on defense i'm going to take tj watt to try to round out my offense or my defensive line back to the offensive line again a little bit here um, <clears throat> we're going to go with the the best blocker of the bunch and that's going to be this rick wagner card we're going to put him on the edge now we've got more off, uh, more linebackers. We're going to have a couple, another one one of these rounds. And what I want to do is I want to go with the speed. Uh, and I think right here, this Deion, Ch De Deion Jones card is the best card that we're going to get. Here's another situation where we've got uh, basically cornerbacks. We're going to go ahead and take Denzel Ward. That's our second round of our defensive backs, I believe. And then we have an all uh, wide receiver round. Jura Vicious is a pretty good card, but not very fast. He's he's fast, but he doesn't have a lot of catching ability. So that guy's going to drop a lot of balls, and this guy's even worse. So we're going to take Jura Vicious with the hope that he can catch in traffic and catch the ball in the middle of the field when we need a big completion. Now the running back round. Um, we've got some pretty good cards here, but the one that really, really stands out is this Tariq Cohen card. Uh, he's got 
better catch. Uh, so that's going to give me some catching out of the backfield. So we're going to take Tariq, uh, Tariq Cohen as a running back. And here is our other guaranteed offensive lineman situation. So I'm going to go with the best card of the bunch because offensive linemen are pretty interchangeable. You can put them uh, pretty many where that you want. Here is a third round um, of our defensive backs. Currently we have Lattimore, we have Ward. So what we're going to do is we're going to take Earl Thomas and fill out our free safety right there. That's going to give us some corners. Now here's, here's an offensive potpourri skill position. We got a running back, we got DJ Chalk, we've also got Hunter Henry. So Henry's actually a pretty good uh, tight end, but he's a little bit slow. Uh, we've got a fast wide receiver, which is just as good as that one more wide receiver that was matched up with Jer Jervicious. Um, and then we also have got this running back with Mark Ingram. Now, I'm going to try to focus on running the ball a little bit more. So I'm going to take Mark Ingram, but I know I'm going to get, I've already got a running back. I could take Tariq Cohen because of his speed. I could put him in a wide, wide receiver wide receiver position and actually he's just as good as catching uh, is, is is you know fairly comparable to this DJ chalk uh, chalk or chart card so we're gonna go ahead and take uh, Ingram and we're gonna put Cohen in our in our slot position now <clears throat> here is another potpourri situation where this is gonna give you a dead roster spot if you take the wide receiver or the offensive players do not take the wide receiver or the offensive of players because these guys are going to basically sit um, on your your fourth string wide receiver. He's going to be your fourth, your third string tight end. He's not going to do anything for your roster. Whereas defensive back, you can use him in more of a situational situation. So we're going to take the defensive back, even though he's the lowest ranking rated card. He's going to be our fourth defensive player. He was basically a dead, a dead situation to us, anyways. So we got Geno Atkins. Uh, we have Casey. We've also got Brandon Williams. Brandon Williams is slow, but actually got really good block shed. He doesn't have that great of block shed, and he's got pretty good block shed. He's a little bit faster. So of the three, we're going to take Brandon Williams because we're going to move him into the tackle position because he's going to be a beast in the middle. Another linebacker situation, I think this is the second of two that we're going to be looking at. We took Deion Jones earlier. Uh, we've got, uh, let's see, here's some speed. Uh, we're going to go with the best card of the bunch. We're going to keep these guys in the middle. Uh, yeah, we'll probably slide uh, him over to the middle of the situation. All right, so let's take a look at our our situation with the tight ends. And uh, Waller is actually pretty fast, pretty good catch, not great strength. Uh, so we're going to have to go with Waller. He's, he's going to be the guy we're going to go and take. So that's going to round things out. And then we got another guaranteed wide receiver position. Uh, this is going to help us a little bit. Uh, of the bunch, uh, Darius Thomas is not the fastest, but he's the best of the bunch, so we're going to go and take that. And we have, our, I think, our fourth final um, defensive player. So that C-Ward guy, if you take a look at that guy, he it was that, that, that bum card that we got stuck with. So we're going to go ahead and take the best of these bunch right here. And I'm going to go ahead and take the McHale Hyde card. And the reason why is that I'm going to go ahead and move Earl Thomas over to the other safety position. Now, okay, so here we go. We've got another line, lineman. You're tempted to take this lineman, but he's really not going to help build out our team. I need to go ahead and take either a defensive tackle or I need to go ahead and take uh, basically the uh, uh, outside linebacker. But we're going to take Jamie Collins, fill out a linebacker position, so we've got that completely taken care of. And then now we have another down lineman situation. So let's go ahead and see what's available to us. We're going to go ahead and take of the two. We've got Trey Flowers. And we also have got this guy. We're going to take, take Trey Flowers because his skill set looks pretty good. And then final uh, situation, we could take Cleo Mack off the edge. Uh, we could take this guy, which has got, so Cleo Mack actually has pretty good block shed. We've got this guy, which is 84, uh, pretty good strength at 86. And then he's not going to help us at all in our position. So we're going to take this Rob. Actually, we're going to go ahead and take uh, Khalil Mack um, in this type of situation so we get a little bit more speed that we can go and attack with. So this is going to kind of round out our, 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 our defense. Now we've got offense. Once again, these guys are really good cards, but they're really not going to help my team too much because I've got skills positions already. So we're going to take the right guard and fill in our offensive alignment a little bit. And then final position player is going to be basically two halfbacks and a strong safety. So... Um, 
you know, tempted to take another halfback, but I actually went a little bit heavy on halfback. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take the safety position and round out the defense and then go with uh, the 34 defense, which, which is going to be gays. So let's go ahead and take a look at this roster. Really strong defensively, 85 overall. Defensively, offensively, or offensively not the best. But let's take a look at what we have on our team. So uh, making adjustments, I went ahead and take uh, take my my tackles, and I just put my my center um, in the middle. That means my guards are going to be pretty weak, so I probably want to stay away from any kind of pulling guard type plays because uh, they're not going to make plays. So just stay with the inside zones where you can get the double teams from these stud players. Uh, once again, tight end is actually going to be pretty good. I uh, got a good a wide receiver, um, and then uh, got a good running back. I've got two two, two good running backs, so I can if I wanted to, I can move things around with that. Um, and then I've got Jervicious, and then I took my slot, my other running back, and put him in the slot position. So I'm going to be utilizing him, and he's actually my fastest wide receiver. So hopefully I can you know, go burn uh, my off uh, on the def defense with that offensive player. On defense, I've got pretty much a studly defense. Look at the, look at the defensive backfield. Um, the weakest defender that I've got is going to be this this guy right here, which is going to be Mashawn Lattimore, uh, but for the most part, uh, the other part is going to be set up. Brandon Williams, Trey Flowers, and I put uh, uh, Marcellus down on the defensive line. It's going to give me a stout front three, and then I've got the linebackers over the top. I got the linebackers over the top, which basically will go ahead and cap out that defense. And I've got damn good edge rushers coming off the edge with Cleo Mack and TJ Ward. And then I've got some speed in the middle that actually can go ahead and make plays for me. So this is what's cool about this particular game mode is that you can make these type of adjustments uh, and just put yourself in a situation where you can you can make some pretty good plays. So uh, once again, my subscribers, thank you for your support. Uh, I, I'll be rolling out more offensive and defensive tips and also playing, showing you draft champions what the teams I'll be using in, uh, online. So once again, thank you for your support. Until next time.